A hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a PySpark AWS Glue ETL job which extracts the data from Amazon S3 bucket, transforms the data, and uploads the data into a DynamoDB table. So here we will see how to you know scrape the data that is present in the source S3 bucket in the form of raw. And we're gonna create a ETL job with using notebook options. We use Jupyter Notebook and we define the AWS Glue ETL job which contains PySpark APIs which will help us to scrape the data from the source raw bucket or source S3 bucket containing raw data and which will finally output the results into um, you know Amazon DynamoDB table. Right, so basically, yeah, so if I go back, so this is the in general my demo part here so we will see how to construct this etl pipeline which leverages pyspark apis and finally helps us to achieve the required job right so here i'm going to use the jupyter notebook file walk you through the complete etl job cell by cell or basically segment by segment and then i'm going to show you that how does that particular piece of code works and how does that how does it actually outputs and once I completely walk you through the steps of the you know the Jupyter notebook, I'm gonna save that particular job into the ETL ETL jobs option, and we see that you know, how does it looks. So with that note, let me take you to the my AWS account here. So if I go to the my AWS accounts, so this is my AWS account. I'm currently in in the AWS Glue service now. So in the AWS Glue, click on ETL job. So you see that we have a AWS Glue Studio. In that one, we have a notebook option. So click on notebook and uh, choose the engine that is a Spark bracket Python engine. So we're gonna use the notebook which is already I already created, right? So click on choose file and you need to choose a file containing DD. So here is a Dynamo DB. So click on this something like this, yeah, and then it should be uploaded here. Then choose the IAM role that is ETL Lambda access role. So this is my admin role, which has admin access on the AWS account and also has a trust relationship with the AWS Glue service, right? So that is the IAM role. I am attaching it here and click on a create notebooks. So once you click on a create notebook for the first time, creation of notebook and, uh, you know, uploading that particular UI and appearance of the UI will take nearby, nearby two to three minutes. So I'm not going to wait until then. So for that sake, I have already loaded that particular file, right? So once I click on create notebook, I waited for two to three minutes and uh, it looked something like that to me. Okay. So for now, I'm going to close it off. Think that it has loaded and currently you are in this UI. Basically, you are in this notebook options where you can, you know, keep on executing the shells that is code shells and try to see how does those response. So here we have a couple of steps, basically three, four steps. So we, I'm going to walk you through these steps. I'm going to explain you what does that do. And we're going to see that and how does we are, you know, achieving this ETL job, which is basically scrapes the data from Amazon S3 bucket that is present in the form of raw, that is CSC file. And we are loading that data into the DynamoDB table. So we are not just loading the data. We are just actually also transforming the data. data. We are actually transforming the data on the fly. So for now, uh, let's try to see, you know, what is it does in the shell one. In the shell one, you say that basically it's actually, you know, has the required library additions and uh, required extra jars are getting loaded here. So in this one, you need to change this bucket name with the your Amazon S3 bucket. So I have the Amazon S3 bucket called something like this. In this one, I have the input path. In the, in the in, input path, we have uh, lab two. In the lab two, we have the sample CSC file, which is a this is a CSC file. If I go back to the sample CSC file, so this is the example sample data CSC file. It contains lakhs of data, and it's, it's is basically I use it for demo purpose, right? So what we do is we're gonna copy this bucket name, and we need this bucket name to execute our notebook shells so here i'm gonna replace this bucket name something like this right so then uh once the bucket name is refreshed you know uh, replaced you you are ready to execute the first shell let's right? make sure that you align the line something as expected 
and then i you know we are good you see that we have a vertical blue line which is selecting this segment of code so i'm just click on running that particular one basically what happens is it actually loads the third party libraries and also loads the you know the jar files you see that you know we have the library file kept in this particular s3 bucket that is py country convert in the sense we are using the PySpark third party libraries which will help us to convert the country names into codes right that is is the transformation we are using here so now in the next one that is basically importing all basic glue and spark libraries so this is basically a very big piece of code so what happens happens in this one is basically if you see here we are actually importing the you know basic aws glue and pyspark libraries importing the further required libraries like uh, os uh, system boto3 so why boto3 because here on the fly only we are creating the amazon dynamo db table and inserting the data into that so here you know not only that it actually you know you see that it actually creates the context of the pyspark or glue job it leverages that and tries to convert that data right so there are lot many things happening in this one now this is the second piece of code which we need to execute in this now so what i do is you know i'm going to click on this particular page now so remember that before you click the next segment make sure that you know so you are actually uh, you know you actually the previous step is already completed then only you are supposed to run the next segments so the our previous step is completed so i'm going to execute this segment now when i say segment is nothing but you know the the chunk of codes which is marked by this vertical blue line vertical blue line so i'm going to click on this here so let me click on this remember that you know the execution of this is very big line so it's going to take some time so if i go above so if i go above here so what we do so basically you know you see that it is actually importing all the basic glue and library use this shell is now in a run state so how i am identifying run state you see that follow my cursor there is a there was a star button there was a star mark now it is changed to a number so which means that you know it has got executed so down the line you can see that you know the uh, it has imported the libraries and uh, you see that session is also created which is a good sign right so with that you know we are executed our second shell which actually imports the library and tries to import the third party libraries and creates a function which is actually gets the country code of a particular column or particular particular country name in the sense if we pass the country name it will get you the country code so now in the next chunk that is basically you know this is also a piece of code where you need to make a changes so what i do is you know i'm going to replace the dollar bucket name with the my bucket name so this is i'm going to just uh, try to copy the bucket name correct bucket name and then we're going to use that bucket name down the line so this is my bucket name which i'm copying to avoid the issues ahead so this is my bucket name i replaced so here you also need to replace with your region that is us west 2 which is oregon region if you see here so if i go to the oregon region um, so what is our oregon region right so this you can see the oregon region that is uh, us west 2 so i'm going to copy that uh, region here so this is the oregon region so i copied that so what we are doing is, is in this segment of code you have a bucket name variable you have a region name you have a dynamo db table name which is yet to be created right and then the down the line it is basically creating a boto3 client uh, targeting to a dynamo db uh, service with using that client it is actually creating the you know the uh, dynamo db table with using uh, api create table this is a table name uh, it has a schema and these are the attributes provision throughputs everything has been created here so basically our table will be created here you see that and it also checks whether the table is created or not or just just checks whether it is created if it is exist or not if it is not exist you know then it will going to create it like that yeah if it is exist it's going to skip it like that and then basically you know it actually so this is where the you know the data frame is been created so in PySpark, basically they call it as a data frame which is nothing but reading a, a data and nothing but you know it's a variable which stores the data so here you know we have a data kept in an input labs to sample.csv file the sample.csv file is this is the file which you can try to mimic the setup from your side and try to run it from your side as well so if you have any problem you can feel free to comment it out in this video you, i'm going to help you there as well no problem with it so let's go to the next piece of code this is where we are actually creating the new data frame so what is that new data frame so we have a this is the data frame so this is our original data and this is the you know the country code data 
right and finally what happens is if you see here this is basically you know we are actually you know this is the piece where actually the collation of uh, you know the collection of the uh, primary data that is sample data will be merged with the country code data in the sense finally we have a transformer data containing a column or extra column with the country code so this is where that you know magic will be happening there so you can try to understand it from your you know from your side in a deeper level and then comes the you know the start writing to the dynamodb table so this is where the dynamodb writing writing will happen in a uh, in a asynchronous manner so this is our dynamodb connections uh, this is a table name uh, this is the throughput uh, write percentage like that and you know, finally once it finished it it will type the message saying like you know writing to the dynamodb is finished all right so with that note what we do is we're going to walk you through the i have walked you through this particular big chunk of code which reads loads into the dynamodb table yeah all right so let me uh, run this piece of code so remember that this is the part of the code in this video which will take a couple of minutes we need to wait or we need to go in a pause mode until this gets executed so how does i come to know that this gets completed because by seeing the output message called finished writing to the dynamodb table right so let me go on a pause for a couple of minutes and i'm going to come back okay after waiting close to a minute the the segment right that is the this segment that is completing the job of reading and uh, transforming and loading the, the dynamodb is got executed and it has given us the output saying like this is the dynamodb table it has created it has started to write to that dynamodb table at this time it has taken this many seconds and then finally you know it has successfully loaded the nearby 1 lakhs of data into this particular dynamodb table so now let's go to the our uh, targeted destination resource that is dynamodb table so i am in the dynamodb table if you see here and uh, let me go to the tables note that i am in the oregon region where we have given the region name so in the same region it we going to create a bucket here right so here you see that we have a glue workshop bucket has been created and uh, let's see you know how many number of uh, records does it has so we can see that you know view the live item counts okay if you click on this one and try to scan it basically it will tell you the you know, number of uh, items present in this particular table so basically lacks in the sense that is too much for a dynamodb table so you see that you know it has uh, loaded nearby lacks of data you can also try to view it here so if you click on explore items and try to uh, basically run it so it has loaded the data you see that it has loaded uh, this many data and if i try to open the particular uh, and yeah let's open the particular item go to the json view so we should have the country code here so you see that these are all the data which we extracted along with the country code so let's see country code use here you go the cuba is the country and the country code appended is equal to cu so basically those are all you know globally identified country code okay so remember that in this piece of code you know we had uh, we were using the uh, public available pyspark libraries okay so that libraries i have walked you through here somewhere here so with using those libraries knowledge you know we are leveraging here try to append those abbreviations of particular country code is appended with the data frame so basically what happens is you know we have a sample.csv file so this file is now has the country code as well and that country code is nothing but get from the from the you know the publicly available abbreviations all right so with that note um, you know the last thing which we need to show you here is so now our script has run expected and it is doing the job as expected which we designed in this particular ppt now the last option is to you know we need to name this particular job and save it so let's name it as s32 uh, s32 dynamo db pi spark let's name it as a pi spark etl job yeah so and then with this name you know you're going to click on save so once you click on save what happens is basically whatever the notebook based etl job that you have designed you can find that job in the your etl job list so refresh the page here you're going to see that s32 dynamo db pi spark etl job is now constructed so now there is a script is automatically created so i'm going to share this script in this video's description you can find it and try to use it from your side according to your adjustment all right so with that note uh, i have uh, shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video